Hey everybody, Ashton here again with Gen Sense with another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at a fragrance that you can pick up for 12 US dollars that will work perfect in the spring and summertime, Kindred Goods Sea Salt and Fig. So this fragrance is part of a line of three fragrances. The other two are Sweet Cream and Honey and Orange Blossom and Tea that can be found at Old Navy stores across the U.S. So if you go into your Old Navy, uh, they keep them toward the front where the cash registers and everything are. They have testers set up there. So if this sounds interesting to you, just go into an Old Navy and test it out for yourself. And if you want it, like I said, it's only 12 bucks for a one ounce bottle. So you could pick up two of these and have 60 mils for $24. The reason I picked this one of the three is because this one is the most masculine. It's going to work the best for the seasons coming up. And to me, it just smells the best. This is a pretty basic fragrance. I mean, it's $12. The notes for this are sea salt and fig. That's it. When you spray this on, don't put your nose right up to your hand right away and smell it or else you'll get a big blast of alcohol and it'll kind of dull your sense of smell. Off the top, you get this sea salt aquatic accord with an unripened fig. It actually smells okay. It doesn't smell super synthetic or anything. The fig wears off as the fragrance dries down and then you're left mainly with just that sea salt water accord. It doesn't smell the same, but it puts me in the same frame of mind as when I wear Tommy Bahamas Set Cell St. Bart's or Martinique. That kind of oceanside, summery, laid back feel, that's what I get from this. The packaging on this is obviously super, super, super basic, but that's fine for 12 bucks. It doesn't come with a box, it's just a bottle like this. You have a very, you know, plain label that says sea salt and fig, kindred goods, small sense, make sense. And then on the back, ingredient information. This is eau de parfum concentration. The cap is just a cheap um, plastic cap. And the atomizer actually works really well. So hopefully you can see this. It actually works very well, which is funny because this is only $12 and this atomizer is better than a ton of more expensive fragrances. This is unisex. For me, it leans a little bit more toward the masculine side of things. And I do get a solid five to six hours of performance out of this. Now projection is really best for the first hour or so and starts to sit down a little closer to your skin, but that's how a whole bunch of fragrances in this category are, so I don't really hold that against it. My wife likes this one as a cheap summer scent on me, so that's a positive for me. And honestly, when I first sprayed this on, I was really impressed. I didn't expect very much from a $12 fragrance being sold at Old Navy, but honestly, it's pretty good. One last thing is the small bottle size is great for going on vacation. I'll probably bring this with me when I go to the beach this year because it's just super cheap, so you don't have to worry about it really. You've got just a, a nice small bottle, so you don't really have to worry about packaging it that much. You know, like if you're bringing a 100 ml bottle, that's a little bit more of a hassle. This is in essence a good size decant. So just toss this in your bag, roll with it, spray it on before you go out to the beach or before you go downtown, uh, you know, on the boardwalk or something. and this thing's gonna work great. All right, guys, that's my take on Kindred Goods, Sea Salt and Fig. For $12, it's worth checking out. So if you're ever in an Old Navy or near one, just stop in, give it a spray, see what you think about it. For me, it's gonna be a good casual kind of throw on and don't think about it summer scent, especially when I go Oceanside. So let me know what you think about this one if you smelled it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.